Welcome to the Market Buzz. I'm Greg Schnell, the Canadian technician and host of the Market Buzz. Each show we do a deep dive into different industries using weekly charts to see what is happening on a long timeline. Please follow me on Twitter at Schnell Investor and you can also keep finding my blogs at gregschnell.com as well as stockcharts.com. So we're trying to rally and the real question is now can cyclicals take the lead here and really uh, start to pick it up with the economy trying to open up. So this is a, a timely week for us to work through those charts. Uh, one of the questions I've got is can the old economy start surging? So some of the not so, not necessarily traditional retail but some of the more um, active retail brands and then uh, when we look across the consumer cyclical sectors, what's going to start working? Um, will Vegas be able to open up? Is the gambling area supposed to get going here? So try and look in on some of these. And just some news for you, if you didn't catch it last week, uh, my new website is open, and so you're more than welcome to go check that out. And I also have a second chartered market technician working on the site with me, Mr. Dwight Galusha, and we'll be providing videos, newsletters, and unique training courses on charting. So uh, if you go to the website, award-winning technical analysis, weekly newsletter, weekly video, monthly recorded conference call, trade setups of five per day, and um, again, there's two of us working there, and that just started here in May, and it's myself and Dwight. So if that excites you at all, and if you're interested in subscribing, um, we've just opened up a, a special pricing program. So click on the private investors tab, and there's a whole description in there of what kind of things you can look for. And on the annual memberships, you'd be able to save $360 and use the coupon code DAILY5. So if that interests you at all, uh, welcome to do that. Okay, here we have um, the top seven tech names, and I just want to go through them because they're all at an interesting, um, well, they're mostly at an interesting place. So here's Amazon, and it actually kicked up a new high on Thursday and then gave it back, but we can see the importance of the resistance layer there. Here's Apple trying to break through its prior highs uh, from back in February, so it's got some work to do. Obviously, Amazon's well above that, but Apple's right at it here, so we'll see if they've got the horsepower. And we've got Facebook, which is actually had a big day uh, today, and that got back um, almost to new all-time highs, but it did get back into the February highs, not quite through the January. So anyway, uh, watching for Facebook to, to try and break out to new highs for the year. Uh, Google is still a little bit lower here, still kind of bothered by this gap and hasn't been able to move through, but everything's still holding the uptrend here, so it's all good. Um, here's Netflix, and it briefly broke out. Hasn't done anything since the breakout, so that's a little concerning. Kind of want to see that keep going. Microsoft is right at its uh, the high for the year and trying to get going here. It's just been consolidating sideways for two weeks, so we'll keep watching that. Here's Disney, and this is um, an example of a cyclical that I thought might be able to uh, kick up and roar with the economy starting up. Uh, success around Disney Shanghai. So this is starting to break out here and uh, sitting at around $115. Anyway, interesting to watch just to see if this name can start to get some legs and push back up again with their online and everything starting to get going. We'll see how that works out. Um, here's Tesla. And again, it's trying to break through its prior highs. That's not quite there yet. It's trading in the 850 level and 950 was prior highs. So anyway, a yeah, very volatile chart. But you can see every one of those is holding a pretty interesting trend line. I guess Disney's more straight horizontal. But uh, all of the rest of these are at pretty important places on the chart. So we'll need to keep our, our eyes and ears tuned to see what's going on there. Over here... Um, these are the, some of the gambling names. And one of the quick things that I just wanted to point out, actually I'll go to page one here. So here's Boyd Gaming and it, it made a nice thrust today to get through the 1750 level and it looks like it wants to start ramping up. So this is one of the reasons that I wanted to cover these names off. I think it's timely. Caesars continues to climb up here, got the 40 week overhead right above, but a very strong chart up almost every week. Uh, pushing nicely. Century Casinos uh, consolidating in around the $4 level, see if it can turn up. It would be a double just to get back to February. So Churchill Downs trading in around 110. 
much like Boyd Gaming broke above all of this resistance today um, or this week. So that's a, a beautiful move. And then we've got Full House Resorts. Uh, nice big push here. So you're seeing all of these charts starting to break away. Great Canadian Gaming hasn't been able to break out of this uh, consolidation yet. International Game Tech, uh, this one, same idea, it's in this consolidation range. Can it push through $8? That would be good. It was 15 back in January. Las Vegas Sands sitting in around that $50 level, and it was up at 70 before. So it's still consolidating. I need a big push out of there to get it going. MGM Resorts, uh, I'll call it the $15 level. Looks There's a couple of spikes above that here, but... That's kind of the consolidation area, so a big push up there, and I think that would look pretty nice. Melco Resorts, um, a little off its highs here for the last couple of weeks, just consolidating. Again, we're going to have to see if people want to get into this casino um, earlier or if they want to wait a while. Anyway, we're trying to get a buy signal here on the PPO, so that's positive. Penn National, uh, this was a stunning move. Uh, this week, so up from seventeen fifty or just under twenty dollars, uh, soared all the way up to twenty five. So uh, pretty strong move. I guess we could just go the last few this way. Scientific Games, same idea that consolidation and trying to break through it. It's also horizontal support and resistance here at fifteen dollars. And then we've got Win Resorts, and Win is uh, again consolidating here, but it is holding above the ten week moving average. So maybe using that as support, it's trying to get that moving average to turn up. And if that's so, it's usually a nice place to get on when when uh, it starts to get the moving average turning up higher. So anyway, keep that in mind. All of those names uh, look interesting for sure. So this is the one week, uh, sorry, this is the uh, one week performance of uh, the consumer cyclical sector. And I think, you know, there's some real names starting to move here. Like here's Malibu Boats and SeaWorld and stuff we don't usually talk about, but Booking.com um, started to move. Um, Expedia is up here with big moves this week. TripAdvisor. All of these are really um, significant moves. So we're just going to flip through these charts and check them out. Uh, Pen Gaming we already looked at. I'm going to go through in the view all mode here. So Kirkland's um, garbage stock, 50 cents. Um, at home group, still in a downtrend. Not sure that's anything we need to chase. Children's Place has a gap up here trying to push back up. That wouldn't be my first stock to go to in this environment. The chart's not quite right. Um, I would say this... Um, J. Jill, you know, it was downtrending long before this, so I think it needs to do some real work to get a push going. Beezer Homes, that's a nice move out of here. Um, and we saw the forestry stocks behave well uh, this week so far. So perhaps this is all ready to go, and they're going to start to head higher. So that's pretty interesting, getting above this horizontal support and resistance layer like that one. Um, MCBC, and these are ranked in the order of how they've done for the week. Uh, so we're seeing the biggest movers first. And um, El Dorado Resorts, this one's pushing up higher into the $30 level. Malibu, look at that. This one's almost ready to break out to a new high. So that looks pretty impressive, actually. Um, really good looking chart. SeaWorld, same thing as Disney, trying to get going here, breaking above. So it's holding above its 10-week moving average, and a lot of stocks are starting to do that now. So that's a nice backdrop. American Axle um, was downtrending for years. Don't need to jump on that. Here's Camping World Holdings. This one's actually breaking out to a new 52-week high. So obviously people are going to be going camping. Once they get out and about, they'll be able to um, uh, stay separate in the in the wild i guess here's TripAdvisor holdings consolidating in around this 250 level i mean it was sliding for a long time here but um pretty beaten up name if if you're looking for a bargain hunting uh here's six flags also starting to break through this 20 dollar level so we're starting to see sea world six flags disney all break above resistance here these look like nice entries scooter ranking moving above 30 i particularly like that um nice place to look 
big lots. This is new 52 week high territory for it. So um, some of these names really starting to lift. GoPro, uh, just a downtrend they can't get out of. Live Nation, um, still consolidating. Going to be hard to imagine how concerts go forward for a while. So this one looks like a tough sell to me, but it's had a big week so far. Expedia, there we go. So some of the travel names starting to move here um, was high 60s, uh, soared all the way up to $80 already and up 14%. So um, a lot of these names look like they're, they've are they decided to step up. Here's Wyndham Destinations, so hotels um, pushing up nicely. That looks good. Meritage Homes, wow, that chart's almost back to prior highs. So big, big moves here, up 15% on the week. Uh, Play AGS, the stock's downtrending, not really interested. Taylor Morrison, another home builder trying to break out to the upside. Nice push above resistance. Um, you know, that's every, everything you want in the chart shape. It was having a good year and then had a pullback late in the fall, then took off again in the spring, was getting ready to go to all-time highs, and then the setback. So um, 16, right now it's about half price of breaking out since it uh, made its highs. Royal Caribbean, um, these are mired down here in the lows, but they've been very volatile, already up 12%. Sportsman's Warehouse, this one, look at that, breaking out to new three-year highs. So uh, along with that other Camping World one we saw, this looks like another theme coming out. JD.com, whoops, broke through to prior highs. Um, very good look on that chart. That one looks ready to lift off. Uh, Marriott Vacations, this one, same thing, breaking above the 10-week and now breaking through the consolidation layer here, trying to get going. Stitch Fix, the stock's been downtrending really since the IPO, kind of uptrended briefly and then pulling back. We'll see if it's got any horsepower, but it is back above its 40-week moving average. Scooter Ranking says it's getting becoming one of the stronger moving stocks, so we'll see if it can add on to last week's big week. Sonic Automotive, um, consolidating above the 10-week, still below the 40-week. I, I did go and look at quite a few of the automotive names, and they don't look too bad. Here's Big Five Sporting Goods. This one's not getting the same sort of lift, uh, but it is trying to break through the consolidation layer here. Stocks was downtrending for years, so might not be the place to look. Century Communities, this looks like it's lifting off. Nicely done. Lennar, another home builder on its way. i got to think there's a theme there, scientific game, so that probably adds over into the lumber segment. Um, if you're interested in those scientific games, this one's trying to break through. Again, uh, not so much of a theme. I guess it might be stay at home or something. Um, this is M... I can't even read that second character. Um, am I Holmes? Anyway, um, doing the same thing as Home Builder and Beezer, as Lenar and, and Beezer Homes. LGI Homes, you get the feeling all of these home builders want to take off here. Polaris, this has been uh, breaking above 10 week, big wild swings here, $10 a week. Um, but we also saw the. Um, uh, do ticker symbol in Canada, Bombardier Rec Recreational Products, BRP, um, having very good chart as well. So maybe they're ready to go, people getting out into the off-road. Hyatt Hotels consolidating in here near the 10-week, and this is its first week above it, so that'll be nice. Marriott, um, again, uh, trying to break through this $90 layer. So you're starting to see all of these break above their con congestion levels and break through that 10-week moving average. Looks pretty good. Brunswick uh, pushing up nicely. Hilton Grand uh, hasn't quite got the same euphoria going for it as Marriott yet, so maybe it's uh, next on the list. Regis uh, still consolidating in that $10 range, been there for four weeks. Hillenbrand, um, downtrending, nothing really great to look at there. Golden Entertainment, you know, trying to break through this consolidation layer. It's down at, I'll call it $9. The high was 21 so there's lots of opportunity for upside. But it was downtrending for the last two years, so it wouldn't be the first go-to name. Century Casinos, we already covered. Whirlpool, um, 
Trying to break through this 110 layer, looks nice. Looks like it's on its way up here to go try and tech the 40 week moving average and uh, horizontal resistance would be in the 140, it's trading under 120. Marine Max uh, trying to push up here, having a bit of a reversal week so far, um, just above the 40 week moving average. American Eagle Brands downtrending for a few years here. I don't know if I can get the horsepower. Eight seems um, very low. If I could get back up to 14, that would be nice. But again, two year downtrend already. Do you really need to buy that? Crocs, uh, big wild swing down here, $25. Um, the chart was uptrending for the last two years, so maybe that's an opportunity to get it and see if it can start to move higher again. Vail Resorts, looks like some people are planning on checking in, uh, moving back above the 180 level. Hilton, same thing, consolidating in an area here and trying to break back up. So you're starting to see this whole, well, all the leaders in this consumer cyclicals group Head higher shoe carnival trying to get going needs to get above $25 and we're only on the fifth page here. We're going to go look at some of the others in the group here in a little bit. Norwegian cruise lines again these wild swings in here they've, they've had huge moves um, lots of them are 100% doubles uh, but um, again booking is a question here's Callaway can golf get going trying to break out here back to 14 was it 22 in in January. Foot Locker downtrending for a year. This does is a nice push here getting a PPO signal this week. Perhaps that can start to get some mojo. Avis car rental still consolidating sideways. Red Rock Resorts again hasn't been able to break out yet. Skyline trying to push back up. Uh, Pulte Group another home builder pushing above that 30 level. That looks good. Boyd Gaming we covered. TriPoint Homes. Um, Consolidating around this $12 level, can it finally get going? Again, I think all of these names are nice. This is booking holdings. Look at this travel uh, business start to take off. I like these charts here. And again, trading at $1,500, it was up at $22, so it's got some 30% upside left there. Uh, Decker's Outdoor, it was a great two-year climb here. So this looks like an opportunity to get back on it here around 150 as it heads up to 200. Um, still in the consolidation phase. Lithia Motors, don't know anything about them. Uh, trading in under that 120. Consolidating here for four weeks. Looks like it's trying to get its legs under it now. Finally got a PPO cross. So that might help with a little bit from scanning. Oli's bargain outlet hunting. This one is breaking out not quite at... Uh, 52 week highs but definitely pushing up and we saw big lots in that group as well weight watchers hasn't been able to convert the um, stay at home close to the cookies crowd to uh, their new program yet so we'll see if that's got any momentum to the upside l brands still struggling in the bottom right hand corner of the chart boot barn trying to get going here above the 20 dollar level um not that excited but uh you know, nothing wrong with the climb out of the hole. So it was down at $8. It's over $20, $48 for the high. So there's lots of room here if it can get going. Uh, probably like that. The scooter's moving above 30 That's usually a good sign for me. Um, renovation. Uh, renovation world? Nope. Renovation. Uh, they've escapes me. Uh, restoration hardware. That's what I'm thinking of. Um Trying to push up here right at the 40-week moving average. So we'll see. The scooter ranking's back above 75, so that's pretty good. And it was uptrending for the last couple of years. We'll see if they can keep adding on. Dave & Buster's doesn't look like it's got any mojo just yet. Sally Beauty still downtrending. Trying to get through this $10 layer. Doesn't look that exciting to me. The chart's been um, struggling for a while. Cracker Barrel. Old Country Store. Uh, you know, it's consolidating in here, um, ticking up near the 100. It was 167 back here. You could take a look at that, but I think some of the other charts are nicer. Planet Fitness. This is an interesting part of the world with all the what they'll have to do to keep uh, people safe. So it's trying to get above the 40-week moving average, consolidating hard here. I don't think this area is going to be my first preference just because of the the issues they've got to try to get people motivated to come back into the gyms. Visteon, uh, trying to break through $60. This looks a little bit better. 
um, eat brinker uh, these restaurants starting to try and head up i don't know maybe even if they only get to the 40 week moving average it'd be another 10 bucks from here dr horton home builder breaking out you just see that all through the home building so i think you want to go looking at the lumber names after this um, mdc holdings gently sloping upward nothing wrong with that choice hotels also trying to break through the consolidation that looks good match.com trying to get through here um, really up against resistance for the last year if it can finally pop it's got some room to go playa hotel resorts between two and three dollars well that was a real drop from seven to to one um, sitting at 250 it would be a 200 percent move just to get back to february but it had been sloping down for two years Harley Davidson, this one's just uh, having trouble idling even. Uh, getting in here around 20, trying to turn it up a little bit, but nothing awesome. Okay, let's go back to the lower part and just see what's really not working. Here's GameStop still continuing to slide. I will say higher momentum on this low, so perhaps they can start to turn up a little bit. That would be nice to see. Um, rib education, that doesn't look very good. Adela looks terrible. Um, CSI Service Corp, this was, uh, gee, you would think that would, that um, idea would be pretty good. So it was up trending for four years, consolidating in here and hasn't really bounced. Um, actually made lows this week that were lower than the initial surge down. So perhaps it's kind of building its base, but doesn't look that great compared to everything else. Electromechanica, that looks terrible. Etsy, um, this one I'm surprised it was so low on the ranking. Uh, it was down 10% this week. That might have done it. Um, but trying to break through to new all-time highs, and it is at all-time highs, I think this one's probably just pulling back and might be a nice place to look. Tapestry, um, some nice brands under this name, but uh, still stuck under the 10-week moving average, consolidating. Doesn't look great yet. Nordstrom, another retailer, doesn't look great. Titan Machinery, consolidating in around 8 to 10. It was trading up at around $22 last year, but really put in its highs two years ago, so it's been downtrending anyway. Liquidity services, that doesn't look that great. And again, these are just, um, I had to pick some ranking, so I just picked uh, outperforming so far in the last week. So here's Fossil Group, not outperforming at all. Wendy's, big push up, trying to hold the 40-week moving average back near the all-time highs. I think they were coming out with breakfast. Uh, Superior Industries, really not getting it going. Jack in the Box. Um, not quite the Chipotle chart, that's for sure. Uh, so here we've got big consolidation for two or three years. Just getting back up into the range it was at. Um, yeah, it looks pretty weak. Duluth Holdings, this is just terrible. Uh, so from 40 to 250, I don't think that's on my buy list here. Here's Calaris. Um, I thought this name might actually be doing better. It's still holding up down here in the 750 range. See if it can break out of that consolidation. It was trading at $24 at the beginning of the year, so that'd be a 200% move just to get back, but downtrending for the last year and a half. Arcos Dorados um, consolidating sideways, still under the 10 week. Lifetime Brands, um, just been terrible for two or three years, uh, having trouble getting that chart to go up. Um, Mattel, the Barbie business doesn't seem to be working out that well. Here we are down here at 750 testing the lows. Auto home, nothing really to look at. Noodles and Company, um, continuing to be down in this corner. The chart looks terrible, just all over the map. I don't think there's a trend there, and it would be easier to stay away. Here's Grubhub with the downslope. Uh, talks with Uber last week, um, giving it a nudge to the upside. Perhaps that can help the chart. Um, PPO trying to move back above zero, so maybe it gets a lift here. Gildan Active Wear, uh, t-shirt makers, can they get pushing up here? Sitting around that $12 level, still um, under the 10-week moving average as a guide. Carvana, uh, very close to all-time highs here, so it's just trying to struggle as it breaks through. Got a big downtrend in momentum. I particularly, let's just mark that chart. 
I would like to see it get through this and and start to reaccelerate to the upside. If it can't do that, I'd be worried here that it's actually going to make another leg lower. So keep watching this to just see if it can follow through and break back out to new highs. And pet IQ chart hasn't made any money in two years probably won't make any money in the next few weeks steve madden um trending down since the beginning of the year hard actually 45 bucks back around um thanksgiving and now we're sitting at the 20 handle still very very weak um Chico's FAS uh, between one and two dollars. That chart's just got a terrible slope on it. Sleep number gently trying to climb higher through here. I don't know if that's something to to run to here. There's probably better names to look for growth. SECOO Holdings that looks terrible. Yelp down for two years in a row. Nothing really to hunt there. Land's End, yeah, it looks like it. Um, continuing to fall. Canada Goose, wow, that was an up and down story, wasn't it? Nothing really to go by. Big downtrend in momentum here, probably not going to improve shortly. Cooper Standard Holdings, downtrending, nothing really there. Under Armour, big brand, just continues to drift lower. Uh, looks rough. Vip Shop, this has been trying to head higher. Wouldn't take much to get to new five-year highs, um, sitting in around that 17 level. Under Armour, uh, the, we already looked at the other ticker. Um, blink charging, that looks terrible. Um, cons sloping down into the bottom right-hand corner. Nothing really there. AMC Entertainment, you got to think those movie theaters are struggling. Wayfair, a uh, big push to new all-time highs here. And then uh, pulling back this week. So maybe it just needs a little pullback. Come back down and give us a chance to buy it a little bit lower. But that's been a nice push off the lows. Um, guess their online business is working. Briggs and Stratton doesn't look like anybody's pushing a lawnmower. Barnes and Noble Education continuing to drift into the bottom right hand corner. Very, very tough with all the books sitting on store shelves and no stores open. Tailored Brands, um, terrible chart. Uh, Libby, terrible chart. These are just continuing to be dogs. Select interior concepts breaking down hard. Points International, um, same thing, looks lousy. Hudson, um, IPO'd a couple of years ago, and it's just been a dog ever since, down 80%. Container store, um, you know, at two bucks, this thing was 25 years ago, so down 90%. Here's Potbelly continuing to decline, $13 to $2.00. So not much to like there. Okay, in general, just wanted to uh, point out that, you know, what is working, and I think recently we're starting to see the home builders work, the gamblers work, the hotels work, um, that whole travel booking area um, starting to be an area of improvement and something we could get behind. In general, in the middle of the list here, um, obviously not starting to move a whole bunch, were the car companies. Let's just go down a little bit here. Um, the car businesses, a lot of the retailers just kind of hanging out in the middle. Nothing really to get excited about. The Shake Shack, I thought this chart might start to accelerate. That might be one to look at. It's trading at 50. Was it 100 a year ago? Perhaps it can get the uptrend going. It's been names like CMG that have really done quite well here. So as, as, um, as we get through this uh, period here, perhaps some of the retailers can start to pick up. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to join me on Market Buzz. Market Buzz airs on Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. You can also see the recordings on Stock Charts TV YouTube page. You can also find us and Canadian Market Reviews on the Stock Charts YouTube page. Thanks, everybody. Um, stay cautious out there. That S&P doesn't seem to have an ability to break through. So thanks. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Grayson Rose here with StockCharts.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did, give us a like down below. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial minds. We'll see you back here very soon. Happy charting, my friends.